evening. Welcome to RSL Today. My name's Keith Harrison. I'll be one of your compares this evening. Uh, I'm Commemorations and Fundraising Manager for RSLSA and with me in the studio is the man who puts the program together, the programs together, uh, David Lias. Hi Keith, how are you mate? Uh, good mate, yeah thanks for um, all the work you've done on this. So. Oh look it was very hard. <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah, agreeing with what you've written down. <laughs> <laughs> Right. That'll so, be a good show tonight. Uh, yep. And, and funnily enough, there's just you and I. It, it is seems, odd, isn't it? seems lonely. Yeah. No one on the phone, no one in the studio. We've had interviews for the yeah. last few months, which has uh, yeah. been great, but it, it might be funnier. Although <laughs> Jeff Jeff was funny. Yes, he was good last, last week and the week before. I, yeah. I liked him. That was good. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> our views on, um, on the YouTube channel, because we load this up onto YouTube, mm-hmm. uh, they're increasing. Excellent. So we've got three now. No, 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 no. It's some some are in double figures. That's all right. Yeah. Ten's good. Yes, and <laughs> no, look, and of course, it, there's people listening live. Yes, there is. Hello, people listening live. Yeah. Now, if people want to watch it or listen yep. to it on YouTube or or listen to a, a replay, yep. they can log on to. Well, they go to the RSL South Australia page. We've yes. got our own YouTube channel, I suppose it's mm-hmm. called. Uh, each Thursday. We load up the link uh, and the bit of a story about what the program's about, uh, load that up, and then that comes up on our Facebook. Uh, so, And it's got the link. You can link to it that way. So you can listen 24-7. If you want to hear other programs, then you go to the YouTube channel in general, uh, the RSL South Australia one, and then you can, you can go to the backdated uh, programs. You know what would be fantastic? Tell me. A camera. We, go, we could be... Poof does. <laughs> I've mainly been putting up photographs of our guests. So oh, we, we'll, we'll have to do something with this program, you and I. <laughs> Selfies. Scare the... Uh, who could we put up? Laurel, uh, Laurel and Hardy? Yeah, that'll do. We'll do that. <laughs> no, better not. We'll it's probably a fine mess you got us into this time. <laughs> yeah, we'd do something like that and then get done for uh, breach of copyright. Or, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know, so. so now, have, have you been good? Uh, big look, behaving, looking yep. remarkably healthy. Look, it's the, it's the better weather, and isn't it good this hour of the evening? It's um, still well, light. for those who are listening live, it's still daylight. It's still daylight for yeah. those who are listening on the other side of the world. And we do have a listener who uh, was in a, in the US. Well, let's hope that person still listens to us. And yeah, thank you very and, much. And it might be dark. That's all right. Uh, we'll still thank you. <laughs> yeah, good, good on you. They need to contact the station and let us know who they are, and we'll send them a cheerio. Yep, that, wouldn't that be good? It would be great, yeah. It'd be yeah. great. Uh, David, uh, uh, sadly, I'd like to report the passing yes, of John very, Hector. Very sad. Uh, from Jamestown. John's a, a noted RSL man, got a lot of uh, mates in the, uh, in the ex-service community. I only met him uh, once or twice uh, and only found out yesterday about his passing. So uh, mm. he's actually on the uh, state awards uh, committee yeah. that, that would review um, uh, the award applications, life membership, and uh, to the RSL, all, all that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. so uh, a lot of his mates will be sad. And uh, no, it's very uh, sad. Now, uh, how old was he, Keith? Look, I don't know. Um, yeah, look, I, I really don't know. I should have looked it up, but uh, uh, we will remember them and uh, commend him for his service. Exactly. Yeah, well, that's very good. Yeah. Uh, next item I've got is the Crane Show. Yes, not now, the we, Bob Crane Show. No, no, but we've. We've been um, we've had a few of these on the parade ground when I was working in there. Yeah, with you and they're, they're, they're a spectacle, fascinating so pieces if, of machinery. If you can imagine the parade ground full of cranes of all sizes, shapes, and all that kind of thing, yeah. uh, I, I love it. Uh, just looking out the window and seeing all <laughs> these cranes. Anyway, so that, that, now the reason we've raised that is it's on Thursday, the twenty uh, ninth of October, and. Uh, access to the parade ground will be limited. Yes. yes. So they'll take up a fair bit of room. They'll be using the drill hall for presentations and there'll be a lot of cables uh, around yeah. the place. So, uh, so people who are regular users of the parade ground and, and the and the offices, etc., will they be okay to yeah, park? Yeah, parking will be okay. On the, we'll, southern, we'll, on the southern side? 
were probably the northern side, northern I side imagine, okay. but, uh, next to the Vietnam yeah, Memorial. Yeah, we see the, the crane people used to go up the parade ground a bit and take from the boom gate west. They're now going to be down closer to the building oh. uh, f- uh, for this type of presentation. So uh, it, it'll be interesting. So we just a little bit of adjustment. Uh, the other evening when I left, uh, probably Friday night, they were setting up all these lights at the front of the building. Yeah. Running cables and all that kind of thing. I said, what are you fellas up to? They said, oh, we're going to deck the building out in black, white and teal. Oh, did they? Yeah. All, all, <laughs> all, these to, big... all to no avail. <laughs> oh, I, I, I must have a search and see if, uh, if anyone took a picture of it. But imagine the Torrens building lit up in, yeah. in Port. Is it Port Adelaide, Port Power, whatever? A lot, they, a lot of people say it's two different teams, but it's, yeah. it's Port. At the end of the day, it's yeah. Port Adelaide Football Club. Yeah, so it's a and great. No matter what you call it, it's a great canvas. Mm. That lovely white building. Yeah. You and I have seen a number of. Uh, yes, a number projections. of projections on there. Yes, yeah, it's very, very so, good. Uh, and they missed it by. Oh, that much. it's not fair, isn't it? You shouldn't. I mean, the game isn't lost in the last few minutes oh, it should have been one earlier by if, if they kicked a couple of goals instead of points yeah yep. they would have been but it, 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 if the, the other team kicked a, or, or scored a lot of behinds yeah as my wife said some of those were rushed some of those were deliberate and, yeah. uh, all that kind of yeah. thing but uh, and, and if if it's even though it's only got two letters it's a very big word yep if only if know. only yeah but yeah no, there's so. there's another there's another year oh look it's heartening they, no. they certainly were not disgraced. And, no, um, top they, of the ladder. They didn't let themselves down. They didn't let anyone no. else down apart from the actual not winning. Yeah. But you know, you, they can take heart. So how, are the, how is the Dave and Keith sports show going? <laughs> <laughs> We've only covered one topic so far. <laughs> uh, the race and the, <laughs> the, the, the Hardy Ferodo was on last oh, weekend. Remember it's, that? It's all happening here, folks. It's all <laughs> happening here. Uh, Rodio, <laughs> now um, how did lunch go in the mess? Now, Yesterday, it was very good um, because we, we are uh, compliant with COVID restrictions. We have to be. Um, we had uh, forty-eight people in the mess, and Cheryl's Kitchen Cuisine um, catered very, very nicely. Uh, we had a, a keynote speaker in uh, Ron Payne. Now, Ron is the president of Morfitt Vale RSL. He, he attends at the lunches quite regularly. And he said to me last month, he said, oh, you know, if, if you're looking for someone as a guest speaker, I can talk to you about um, following in my father's footsteps in Vietnam. And I thought that'd be fascinating. So um, as, as, you, as you know, and for those people who may not be aware, Ron's father is Keith Payne, VC. And he earned his Victoria Cross in this particular engagement uh, in, on Hill Six Six Eight. It was, and don't ask me where it was. Uh, just it was in. I think it was dark. It was. It was pitch black. Yeah. They, they went in at six o'clock at night, and uh, there was a uh, a troop of Americans, uh, Montagnards. Yep, the, the Montagnards of the mountain. Montagnards, people. the mountain people. Yeah. So it must have been fairly. But they're not of, American. They're no, 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 no. But they're. they're a, yep, but there was an American yeah. uh, sergeant in charge of them. Uh, and, and there was Warrant Officer Second Class Keith Payne in charge of the platoon of Australians, and they walked into an ambush because they were actually going up into a battalion headquarters of uh, North Vietnamese, which they had no idea they were there. And um, the American sergeant was, was killed. Uh, they never found his body. Uh, I still haven't found it to this day, and... Uh, it was very, very interesting, and it was it was very emo- emotional for Ron. Um, but he he did a good job, and it was very interesting. So yeah, I'm so very this pleased. is this is the combined ex services mess at Torrance Parade Ground. Ground, yes, uh, uh, monthly lunches every third Wednesday, and we are we have decided we're going to have a Christmas one in December. Okay, well normally done. we don't do the December one because yeah. it's so close to the actual, to the actual day, yeah. but this year it falls. Um, on the 16th, I think it is, yeah. of December, something like, something like that. We see, you know what you're capable of. Yes, we so, do. So yeah. uh, a lot of venues maybe won't be geared up for for a Christmas event. No, so, that's, that's Especially correct. some that haven't reopened. Yeah. Uh, you know what the uh, conditions are. What have you been open now? Two, this would be the third the reopening third, lunch? Fourth one, I think. Yeah, fourth. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so how do people book? They can book. Uh, by making a phone call to the RAF Association, which is in the Torrance Parade Ground uh, complex, and they need to speak to our chairperson, our new chairperson, uh, Annette, 
um, Annette Moore, and the number is 8227-0980. Yep. Now, Annette's only there Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays between 9 and about one thirty. Yep. So it is important to book. Yep. Uh, once I've got the menu uh, or the promotional poster, I'll put it up on the RSL yep. Facebook. Yep. Uh, so it'll be out there and. Uh, what about other hours of opening? Are you back to Friday the, the, evenings? We've been back to Friday evenings now for, for the last three months. Uh, so if anyone's in town or they're going out to a function or whatever, whether it be the Festival Theatre, whether it be the Oval, uh, or even just walking past, if it's a Friday afternoon and it's the second or third Friday of the month, come on up to the mess and say hello. We'll be yep. there opening at about, around about four, just before four. Yep. Uh, but if no one turns up, by about five thirty, um, the 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 barman who, who was a volunteer will close up and go home. Yep. So there is an opportunity, plenty of parking. You can yes, come in. Yes, you can come in. So if you're going in to go to the theatre or whatever, it's it's brilliant. Yep. Go call into the bar, park on the parade ground have, while you're have there. A, have a very relatively inexpensive drink, and enjoy yourself. Comfort. Sit down in the, in yep. the lounge chairs. It's really nice. Yes. Yeah, so watch uh, the news. Watch the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Got a big brand new TV in there. It's really good. They, oh, well, it's excellent. Yeah. It's been going for a, a long time. I think I may well, have mentioned they, the committee kindly granted me uh, life membership a few yes, weeks ago. Yes, and well so. deserved too. And in fact, yesterday we, we actually um, presented uh, our former chairperson, Bruce Newman, oh, yeah. uh, an ex-REF member with life membership. He, he, was one he did of, a lot. He did a, a huge amount. And we had um, Deidre Owen, who was the widow of Frank Owen, uh, who our was, was our our very good friend? He was the vice uh, chairman of the mess for many, many, many years, and he was instrumental in getting it up and running uh, in later years, and um, rejuvenating the uh, the MOU that we have with the Ref Association, and generally just making sure that you know, everything was going well. And unfortunately, he passed away two years ago now. December two twenty eighteen. Yeah, December. So it'll be two years. This twenty first of December. Yeah. Just before Christmas, very sad. Mm. Um, so we presented Deidre with his life membership, and she was really appreciative, and brought a daughter, brought her daughter Donna okay. in, and uh, no, it was it was a lovely day. Yeah, good, I very very it. good day. And that was at lunch yesterday, was that it? That was lunch yesterday. Okay. Yes. Oh, well, well yeah. done. I wish I'd known that. I'd have. Oh, I, actually, I never door. even. To be honest with you, I never even gave it a thought. I yeah. do apologise. Never mind. No, no, no. Look, we can bring it in next. I didn't even know what date it was um, when I was talking to. Uh, Annette and, and, and to Robert Black and Robert said, are you going to lunch? I said, is it that time already? <laughs> you know, I, It did fly around. It did. That one yeah, flew. It's been very, very yeah. quick this month. Now, the, these five-day weeks throw me out. I, I like those short ones when there's a public holiday. <laughs> I don't think, have we got any more now between now and no. Christmas? I don't think so. No. no. Then we've got the one after Christmas, which is Proclamation yeah. Day, which sort of gets blurred. Um, Does, and becomes yeah. Boxing Day or something because oh, yeah. we never had Boxing Day, but the twenty eighth is the easy one because that's my wedding anniversary. Well, there you go. Uh, and we held it on a public holiday so that people could could attend. <laughs> and how many years? Now twenty seven. Twenty seven. There you go. Congratulations to you Crikey. and Deb. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, we, yeah. David, I've got all this stuff to talk about. But we, we haven't we, talked uh, about anything. Haven't got. Uh, oh no, we have. We had the show organised. <laughs> yeah, haven't got. Uh, look, uh, RSL clubs have reopened predominantly. Some are just reopening again now. Uh, once they're getting all their ducks in a row and their COVID plans and uh, all that kind of thing. So please support your local clubs, uh, help them get back on deck. Some suffered. Definitely, yeah. Um, yeah now the Plimpton Glenelg RSL didn't suffer, uh, but certainly got a bit of a knock. Uh, it's open this evening, uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday uh, evenings, uh, not open Sundays so until the dancing comes back. So... Uh, oh. We're there. Oh, phone number of State Branch. Yes, better to one zero zero seven three zero zero. admin at rslsa.org.au and the website is rslsa.org.au. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. Uh, I'll say goodnight. And I'll also, also say goodnight. Good night, everyone.